Hello my fellow fasting friend, it's Jackie, and today I'm gonna to share with you three grocery hauls from three different stores. I went to Trader Joe's, Walmart, and Target, and I'm gonna share with you some basics and some stock up items for my next four weeks of keto. If you are new here, you won't know that I haven't done keto my entire past journey with intermittent fasting, and I have zero plans for it to be like a standard or a normal thing, but the amount of comments that I get of people telling me I should try keto, do keto with fasting, or I lost all this weight with keto and fasting, it just is enough to make me curious, and I would like to have some exposure so that as people engage in those conversations, I can talk back. So for the next four weeks, I am going keto. I will be consuming 20 net carbs or less. Really quick for you, net carbs is the total carbs minus dietary fiber equals your net carb. And for comparison, something that I found to be shocking is I ate a bagel the other day, and there were like 58 net carbs and that one bagel without anything on it. And that was just a small snack I had. So now I will be having within my meal, which includes like snack, dinner, dessert, all of it, um, I will be having 20 net carbs. So I'm up for the challenge. I'm actually super excited. And even though I do my weekly grocery shopping Aldi every single week, I love Aldi, I will be planning all of my meals and getting the base of my stuff there. I did decide to have a keto stock up so that when I started, I'd have easy things on hand. And I went to stores I don't normally go to and I plan to not go to over the next four weeks. So I gave myself a really good base, food for me, me alone, because my family's not eating keto. And here are all the good things that I got. officially back from Trader Joe's and Target and I'm going to share with you everything I got. The prices will pop up on the screen. So I bought pepperoni. This has a total carb per serving of one gram with zero gram dietary fiber. So um, six total carbs in this entire package. Shredded mozzarella. I will be making pizzas once a week is my plan. I do plan to still get cauliflower crust from Walmart. Um, a quarter cup is a net carb of one gram. The smoked andouille chicken sausage and spicy Italian chicken sausage. Each link is one net carb for the andouille and the spicy sausage is zero. So there's less than one, less than one for each link. So this will be really yummy and a really easy addition to any meal. If I want to, I'm thinking like if I make soup, I might have a sausage with it and a salad. We'll see. I actually wanted to get a couple of flavors of the folio cheese wraps just to make wraps, just like they show here. However, they only had Parmesan and this is the only one. So I got this. I also could see baking these a little bit and turning it into like a hard taco shell. I've seen that as an option. Same with the jicama wraps. So this is made from jicama, obviously, and I heard they were, or I read that they were really good substitutions for taco shells and Two wraps is a net carb of one. So there's three oops, three carbs and two grams of dietary fiber. So a net of one per two. So I definitely will be having this or this or probably a combination of both when we have taco night for my family, I'll have this. Speaking of taco night, I did buy carne asada. So there is one net carb for each serving of this and I'm gonna make this, my family will eat it and then I will definitely have it for tacos and I will save leftovers for myself when they have my frozen taco meat because there's sugar in the seasoning and I don't want that, obviously. Shredded pizza seasoning, I just thought that looked good and there is zero net carbs in this. I'll be using it obviously for pizza. I got Toscano cheese with black pepper. I just thought that looked good. I'm gonna be eating a lot of cheese. That was $7.39. The net carbs on this are zero. Cheddar and Gruyere. I can never pronounce that right, but this again is uh, a low carb, one carb per serving. And I know my family will still enjoy the cheeses. We love cheese as a whole anyways. The pancetta is one gram per serving. I thought this would be really good to have on salads or just to add on top of soup or something. It just looked yummy to me. I bought three packs of cauliflower slims. Basically, I wanna use it as a bread substitute. It's pillowy, almost seems like a cooked egg, 
but um, the primary ingredient is flour and the primary ingredient is cauliflower and I read that these are really good. They're good through November 16th or 17th so I can get through molding and keeping these in the fridge. Artichoke and jalapeno dip. This has, if I ate the entire thing, it would be, let me see here, 18 carbs. I'm not gonna eat the entire thing. I thought this would be just a nice thing to have on snacks. I plan to have these two last me the entire time I'm fasting with celery. So celery dipped in this. I like celery dip and stuff anyway, so I just thought that'd be a nice little option. So two tablespoons is two net carbs, just a good snack. I got goat cheese to put on salads. Um, I think this is zero net carbs. So yeah, it is 11 servings. Each serving is less than one gram. So even if I count it as one, I can get lots of salads out of that. Same with the Parmesan cheese. This will be good on top of soups and salads, on pizzas, really something I'll use a lot of. And I got the big bag. So this is one carb per quarter cup that I use. I also bought frozen chicken breast tenders. I normally like to buy fresh chicken breast and prepare it and freeze it myself, but I want tenderloin specifically for a few recipes. And since I'm only cooking for myself, it'll be really easy to just grab one or two out for myself and not have an entire package to deal with. So I went for ease, got those in the freezer section, obviously. I got this spe spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. It has four servings and each serving will have four net carbs, so five minus the one. And I figure that what I'll probably do is eat half a bag with tacos for one dinner, half a bag with tacos for another dinner, and I'll get eight net carbs per one of these. And then the taco actually, between the meat, cheese, and the jicama wraps will be the rest of my carbs. I think it really helps that I eat one meal a day, so I'll have a small eating window, and I'll also be able to have my 20 grams of carbs within one meal, or snack and meal. So I have mashed cauliflower. I'll be honest, this actually looks better than it sounds to me. I've never had mashed cauliflower. I like cauliflower enough as it is that I've never considered actually having it mashed. But I saw it was recommended on a couple of different lists that I researched. I will um, link below to anything that I did research on before, you know, making my grocery shopping list. I have a few things I found on Pinterest, but one of them said that this is good. And I thought when I do like a bunless burger, that this might be a nice side and feel more like a dinner or if I make a meatball or something. I also bought these mini avocados. They're super hard, so I bought them early. I normally buy my avocados at Aldi, but I just wanted to make sure I had some ripe when I started, so I just got these because I thought of it, and I thought the mini size was nice. Again, I'll use this with eggs on top of soups, on the side of soup. I love egg, bacon, and avocado, so I figure I'll be eating a lot of avocados. Speaking of which, I got avocado oil and spray. I've heard that these are really good um, just in general, and then a lot of people use it in the keto recipes, so I got them for my house. Ever since I've tried it, I've loved green dragon sauce. Prior to keto, it's been in my house for a while. So it's less than one gram per serving, so I'll probably just count it as one when I use it. But I love this on salads, on tacos, it's amazing, it's so good. Definitely had to get that and make sure I had enough to last me the next four weeks. I got this goddess dressing. I saw this in my research and for two tablespoons, it is um, a little less than two grams of net carbs. So I'll probably like just count it as two, but that's pretty good for a dressing and I've heard it was really good. I do plan to have a lot of salads as my sides. So these marinated olive duos, three olives are net carbs of zero. And I just thought it would be nice to have around for snacks. I'll just grab a few olives. I could add them into salads if I wanted. And the lemon and herb spicing sounded really good to me. So I grabbed those. I certainly don't plan to eat the entire thing and count it as zero um, carbs. Because I know that other items still exist. Like your total fat and calories. You just can't pretend they don't exist. Even though I'm not counting them. But I could see myself eating, you know, like a quarter packet every time I use it if that makes sense i bought these aldi sells these my aldi doesn't always have them and i can't remember if it's an aldi find but i love these oven baked cheese bites and i just thought it would be nice to have on hand if i ever have like days of weakness where something really crunchy sounds important 
here I am. I got this, I don't even know how to say, I'm gonna say Casio e Pepe pasta sauce. It is um, Romano cheese and black pepper. It looked really good and for a quarter cup, it only has two grams of net carbs. And I just wanted something easy on hand. If I make pasta for my family, I'll probably make homemade zucchini noodles and have that. Again, zucchini noodles aren't something that like get me excited, but if there's a good sauce with it and maybe some olives and yummy salad, I'll be all set. I didn't plan to buy this, but I saw it and it looked really good. And if I need to, you know, jazz up some plain cauliflower rice, I thought chili sesame oil would be good. And let's see here. Uh, one tablespoon is about one net carb. A little less than that, but I'll count it as one. I got salsa and salsa verde. I got this for my tacos. And then I got this for, I'm making a chicken green chili soup. Something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but I needed um, green verde salsa. So this has about two tablespoons as two grams of net carbs. I put the whole thing in my soup, but all together it's, um, I think if I ate the soup for three days, I can't remember, but it's definitely like low carb soup. This is one of the higher carb items actually, but it's still not bad. I know I'll be eating a lot of mayonnaise. If you can see here at Target, I got a lot of cheeses. I needed different dressings, so I got chili lime mayonnaise. I got this um, Italian bomba hot pepper sauce. This has uh, one gram of net carbs per two tablespoons, and I think this is the same thing. No, actually this is less than one per tablespoon, so if I use two, I'll probably count it as a carb, net carb. But I wanted different dressings to make lettuce, meat, and cheese wraps. That's gonna be like my easiest, whether it's a snack or my actual meal, I need a different and the chili lime mayonnaise sounded really good to me. Same with the crushed peppers. The avocado cilantro yogurt dressing and dip. I thought this would be good with celery. I also um, could see putting this on wraps or on a salad. And two tablespoons is two carbs. And it just looked like a yummy option. Then Target. So that was my first Target item. All of the rest of this is good and gather because they had a sale and a coupon. So I took advantage. I bought these, um, I accidentally, I didn't realize they were reduced fat, otherwise I probably would have left them, but I'm still gonna eat them, or my daughter might like these for her lunch. Colby Sna Jack Snack Bars, zero net carbs for these, zero net carbs for here, one net carb per serving of this, which is a slice. Actually, it's less than one, so I'll probably still have to count it as one. And then the roast beef has a net carb of one per serving, and there's a little less than four servings in there. And then the turkey has net carbs of two as well. So low carbs still. And I plan to do meat, cheese, some sort of a dressing, and then wrapped in lettuce. I feel like will be a big staple for me. And then definitely got more shredded cheese. The good thing is I know I bought a lot of cheese, but my family will eat all the cheese. And this is what I got from Target and Trader Joe's. And I still have to get my stuff from Walmart this afternoon, and I'll be back to show you that. Okay, and here's my Walmart haul. Same with the other stuff. I will post the prices up here. But I got some Quest chips. These are, for the entire bag, I think, four net carbs for this one. Same with this if I need a chip substitute. I just got a couple of these to have on hand. So I got ranch and a loaded taco. This entire pint is four grams, six for this one, coconut almond. I think Aldi has keto ice cream, but I'm not sure. I just wanted something on hand in case I feel like really deprived and I need a sweet. I have these and I love both those flavors. So we'll see if I like the Rebel. I can't imagine that. I got this classic marinara for the farmer's market to make pizzas. Total carbs for a half cup or seven with three grams of fiber. So that'll be four. And I doubt that I'd actually use a half cup to make pizza. These are the cauliflower crust that I got. I already got four of them because Aldi doesn't sell them where I do my normal grocery shopping and I'll have one a week. So a third of a crust has two net carbs. So the entire crust is six and then I can build a really nice pizza and have sides with it. I got these sausages, swaggerties. These are so yummy. I had seen them years ago. They're zero net carbs. 
also just, I love sausage. So I'm excited to have these. This is actually already in my fridge, but I get it from Walmart. So it's zero net carbs for quesadilla cheese. If I find low carb tortillas at Aldi, I can make quesadillas if I wanted. Um, or just to have this cheese to put on top of a soup. It's super stringy and I love it. This green enchilada sauce is to go with the salsa verde that I got at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna make a chicken cream cheese, um, like verde soup. I can't remember what it's called, but it looked really good and I'll have that for a number of dinners. And then finally, a calorie-free, sugar-free Thousand Island dressing. This has less than one gram of net carbs per two tablespoons, and I'm gonna have this for when I make Big Mac salads, which is something I already loved before doing keto, so that'll be a nice addition. And this is what I got from Walmart. If you have ever engaged in a keto lifestyle and you have tips for me, wonderful snacks, or recipes, link them below. I do have like a 28-day plan of recipes based on research and cookbooks, but I'm always willing to change things up. So if you have something to share, leave them below. No promises that I'll eat it, but I'll consider it. I do promise that. The dragon sauce that I bought from Trader Joe's, I've shared that before in 500 calorie meals. If you want to see some of the things that I put it on, you should check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, down and ciao.